Hey guys, welcome back to the Living Waters Farm. This is Billy, and this is part three of the DIY converting a IBC tote into fish tanks. So basically this is video three and I'm doing a follow up. It's been one week since I set up this system and everything's looking really good. No leaks, everything's working as it should. The water was cloudy for a while. It's starting to clear up real nice. See all the fish. See all the way to the bottom of the tank. And so I was, I did have the K1 media in here. I don't like it. It don't work for crap. You see, this here tank is working exactly like it's supposed to. I don't know if you can see past the reflection, but you see. There we go. See the bottom? It's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It's catching all the heavies. And then everything goes over here. And this is catching a little bit of the heavies as well. But not a lot. And if it, if it does catch it, it goes through this 10,000 liter filter. And then through the UV sterilizer. And boom, right back out. Oh, it's perfect. Gravity fed. All the heavy poops are coming along the bottom pipe there and falling into the, well, I call it the heavies tank. Catches the heavy solids. So next I'm gonna be hooking up this, this will be part four. I'll be hooking up this drainage here I'll be putting a T in here, and then I'll be able to sh turn this, I'll put a valve in here that'll shut this off. I have a way of sealing off all that water there. And then I can open this, and everything in this tank will just flush right out. I just, all those heavies are gonna go this way towards my sump area. I've got a sump which goes attaches to the uh, sewage so yeah that's basically it I just wanted to do a follow-up real quick one week later show off how it's doing it's doing great the water quality is great my temperature is doing good I actually uh, was testing my heater out to see if it worked I was seeing if it would take it up to 68 which it did now I'm trying to bring it back down to 65 which is going to be my desired temperature it's a nice, healthy balance for my goldfish, my koi, and my tilapia. And uh, part of the reason why I went ahead and dropping that temperature is my koi are starting to get frisky down there, and I'm not really ready for them to start breeding just yet. I've got to do a couple more little uh, tweaks to the system, but if they were to spawn any babies, uh, you know, most likely they're going to end up in this heavies tank and I'll be able to see them and catch them out of here and uh, put them in an appropriate tank but that's it for this video guys thank you for watching uh, stay tuned for the next one if you haven't already make sure you subscribe hit the like button all that stuff helps algorithms blah 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 help me get paid guys we'll see you in the next video peace out